Happy Friday morning, GLADS. I'm Cheyenne Gallier. And I'm Isaac Fleet. And this is your KWHS News. College visits for October are winding down, but we have the November lineup for you today, so jot down these dates. And remember, you need a pass to attend these visits during advisory and at lunch. Here's the information. Morningside College in Iowa found a last-minute spot in their schedule to visit us and will be here on October 23rd during advisory. The Colorado Council on High School and College Relations will be here for a college fair on October 24th from 1 to 2 p.m. If you're not sure what colleges are best for you, check out this college fair. The Counseling Center has more details and you can register online. Following the college fair on October 25th, the Golden Bear reps from the University of Northern Colorado in Greeley will be here during advisory. And closing out the month on October 30th, the reps from Pikes Peak Community College have scheduled their visit with us. Seniors, listen up. October 30th is the inaugural Colorado Free College Application Day. Save yourself some money and apply for college on this day. Here's the deal. All 32 public colleges and universities in Colorado and several private institutions will be waiving fees for admission applications submitted on October 30th only. Get your complete high quality admissions application ready to submit by this date. Keep in mind that each institution will waive fees differently, so plan ahead and read the institution specific instructions as well as the Colorado Free Application Day FAQ. See Mr. Walker and the Counseling Center for more information. The University of Wyoming gets our November college visit started on November 6th. Then, on November 7th, you can check out Luther College. The reps from Fort Hay State will be here on November 13th, followed by the UCCS reps on November 15th. Plan to spend some time after Thanksgiving with the Adams State Grizzlies, who are scheduled to visit us on November 29th. If you missed out on any of these dates, check out the Counseling Center calendar or go to their website. Juniors and Seniors, the ACT test date at WHS is next Saturday on October 27th. If you did not get yourself registered for this date, go to the ACT.org website for other test sites, dates, cost, and registration information. And now, we're checking in with Ethan Simon for our Gladiator Sports Update. It's finally Friday, GLADS. I'm Ethan Simon, your sports guru, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Leading off the news today is the boys' soccer team who managed to pick themselves up after that devastating loss against the Purple School. The boys pummeled the Panthers, bringing home another W into their record books. That's a way to close out the season. Whoosh! This was a challenging season, but our team stood the test, and they know they are capable of standing toe-to-toe -to -toe next year with the best teams in town. Nice work, Glads. Our Lady Glads traveled to Woodland Park last night, but didn't manage to bring home the win. The ladies are winding down their season as well, with just a few matches left in their season. Up next for the ladies is a match against the Harrison Panthers on Tuesday here at home at 6 p.m. With state births on the line on Wednesday and Thursday night, our cross-country team kicked their runs into highest gear. Best of luck to the cross-country team members at state. In Friday Night Lights, our glads are home tonight for senior night at 7 p.m. when they will take on the Liberty Lancers. Remember, it's a blowout, so get your warmest gladiator gear ready and come out and support our Football team. Hey Glads, it's not really news when I tell you that our marching band rocks, but guess what? At regional competitions at Liberty High School, our band proved it by making it to the state quarterfinals. Whoosh. If you haven't had a chance to check out the marching band in action, they will be hosting band students from the junior highs tonight at the football game. This is always a great night for band students of all ages, so come check it out. And as if they aren't already busy enough, on Saturday, the bands head to Fountain Fort Carson for the FFC Friendship Cup for another competition. Good luck to them all. And finally, fresh off their strong start in competition, our forensics team will be taking its talents to Pueblo West on Thursday, October 25th for the Halloween Congress meet. Ghoul luck. Hi guys, you're on with Damon's Daily Dose of Health. And today's tip is about what to do and what not to do when you're feeling the afternoon fatigue. Things to avoid. Avoid sugary drinks, taking long naps, and avoid foods that are only gonna spike your insulin and create that sugary response. Things to do when you're feeling fatigued. Drink plenty of water. Being dehydrated can exaggerate the feelings of being tired. Maybe try something like going for a light walk or a jog. By increasing blood flow and exercising, you'll increase your energy levels. All right, guys, and that is Damon's Daily Dose of Health.
That's it for your Friday Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Ethan Simon. Go out and support your Gladiator teams this weekend. Now back to Cheyenne and Isaac for more news. Thanks, Ethan. We appreciate the coverage. Students, Miss Melton is hosting a trip to England, Ireland, and Scotland in June of 2020. If you missed the parent meeting on Wednesday, stop by room 103 for details and information. Hey, Glads, remember those pink federal aid forms that were due on October 11th? If you haven't turned them in, what are you waiting for? Return your signed copy to your first hour teacher or the attendance office. Glads, if you need something fun and inexpensive to do this weekend, you should check out the DECA FBLA car show on Saturday, October 20th. A mere $2 will get you in to check out the coolest cars in town, but if you bring a new toy, you can get into the event for free. Oh, but there's more. Do you have a car you might like to show off? A $10 entry fee will allow you to show your prized vehicle, and if you bring a new toy, you'll receive a discount of $2. This event will take place at the Legends Rock grill at 2790 Hancock Expressway. Car entries will be staged from 8 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. and then the gates for spectators will open at 10 a.m. and the show will run until 1 p.m. All proceeds benefit WHS, DECA, and FBLA clubs and all toys will go to the Children's Hospital of Colorado. You should check it out. And now here's the lunch crew with our lunch menu for today and Monday. Take it away, Seth. Boy, what's for lunch? I'm hungry. Good morning. I bet you don't notice what's missing. Miss Betsy should step out so I get to do what's lunch today. Today is another manager special. I think, don't hold me to it, but I think it's sandwiches. I don't know what that means, but that's what's for lunch today. And a Monday, pot roast with mashed potatoes and gravy. Sounds good. Remember, Saturday is sweetest day. I don't know what that means, but that's what Saturday is. Have a good week. Today. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can't wait for lunch today. Thanks for that update. Students, please pay your lunch charges in person or go online to add money to your account. Seniors, Herf Jones is back today in the lower comments to take your class ring and cap and gown orders. If you need an order packet, see Miss Abeta in the Counseling Center. Remember, you can also order online at herfjones.com. And seniors, today is the deadline to turn in your senior photo and quote. See Mrs. Kennedy in room 103 for details on how to submit those for the yearbook. And if you haven't ordered your yearbook yet, order yours today in the business office, or you could go to yearbookforever.com and order yours online. The cost is $55 into the end of November. That's it for our Friday edition, Glads. I'm Cheyenne Gallier. And I'm Isaac Fleet, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great weekend.